Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight on Lena Live. We have several new developments in the coronavirus pandemic. There are seven new cases of coronavirus in the city of Cleveland. The city's health department making the announcement earlier tonight. That brings the total number of confirmed cases in Cleveland to 24. The new cases include both men and women whose ages range from their 20s to 60s. Governor Mike DeWine also announced today the number of confirmed coronavirus cases in Ohio has risen to 247. There are also now three deaths. The latest, a 91 year old man in Cuyahoga County. The other two deaths are in Erie County and in the Toledo area in Lucas County. And the state's health director, Dr. Amy Acton, says the Cleveland area is one of the places seeing more cases of the virus. She made an emotional plea to everyone, saying the worst of the infections is yet to come. Andrew Horansky joins us now live with more on the doctor's warning. Drew? Elena, good evening to you. That news is certainly not news we like to hear, but news perhaps that we need to hear. From Dr. Acton alongside Governor Mike DeWine at their daily a grim outlook, the most grim one we've heard yet over what a worst case scenario could look like here in Ohio. Take a listen. Every one matters right now and every day matters. And this is time. This is the time we've been talking about where you absolutely have to take the governor's advice to heart. We are a state of 11.7 .7 million people, the seventh largest state a sister state of Hubei province with extensive businesses with global impact, with extensive universities, public and private, with students and professors in exchange. And everything points to the fact that we had a seeding of this infection early on. Now, there is the human side to this story, of course, Lena, one that we started talking about a little bit tonight at six mm -hmm. businesses, obviously being very much impacted by this, coming to terms with a new kind of normal. But tonight, some are stepping up, doing things a little bit different. And later on in this newscast, you will hear exactly what some of those steps are. Looking forward to that. Thanks so much, Drew.